A team built with a cabbage to make a game about a sad AR. The Huawei game jam might be 83 hours long, but we only had five together. Surprisingly enough, this stupid idea for a game was not our first when we heard the theme of... Collaborate with AI. What? <laughs> yeah, that's Sebastian Nagawa documentary video. It's back on the table. Perfect timing, get an AI to make the game for us. Yes, it collaborate. Not fight against. Which is a key distinction on a royal pain, because I only have AI experience with 1v1 competitive stuff trying to beat you. None of that experience is going to be helpful here. So how about a multiplayer game that there's only one player? Lava Boy, Water Girl, or whatever. But like you but only like, control one of them. Oh my god, it can be the really depressed robot from Hitchhiker's Guide to You make Marvin and we have to try and cheer him up. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> therapist. You have to go into his brain and wiggle around a bit. Uh, because with normal therapy, oh, I've got depression. My brain isn't wired correctly. Okay, why on earth does this robot need therapy? Well, let's go directly to the source and thank Sirius Cybernetics Corporation for building robots with genuine people personalities. I'm a personality prototype. You can tell, can't you? How should we give a robot therapy? This doesn't even make any sense. There are so many options. Spider-Man PS4, the wiring circuit boards, but they're broken, you have to fix them. Or colored wires, cross over each other, you have to like plug them in. I really hope I'm not describing Among Us. We're not making Among Us. No, no. So, it could be Astro bot thing on the PS5. You are inside the PS5 and you go yes! to the GPU and you Ye go to yes. the CPU. Up first is the CPU minigame. We came up with the idea of a downwell inspired minigame. Our robot John is depressed because his CPU has bent pins, so we have to replace it with a new special DCPU, Depression Curing Processing Unit. Bend a pin along the way, you die. Miss the CPU socket, you die. Line up everything perfectly though, and it's pizza time. This is Cabbage's first ever game jam, first game in Unity, first devlog, first time I have a friend with me here in real life. So let's help with some amazing advice, like you're gonna use a go-to state. <laughs> <laughs> it's very jittery. Oh, Whoa. That was bad. Can I suggest a different way of moving? Sure. What is velocity? Speed times direction. Mm. That's our speed. Yeah. The input is the direction. Yeah. Okay. Can now just do rigid body yeah. dot velocity. Try that. Woo! It's zoomy. Okay, we'll decrease the hundred. So like. It was a hundred speed. Oh yeah, if you change it in play mode, then it doesn't. Well, that's change. a bit bad, isn't it? Okay, you have a dog break. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. Let's not have it. New issue up. unlocked. Let's go. When Vision. physics is too good. Oh, the pins! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? We're gonna spin, we're gonna spin. We're gonna spin? <laughs> okay, I'm assuming we don't want to be able to spin. What's more important right now is stopping the player from popping off the screen and never coming back again. So there's gonna be two ways to do the borders. Yeah. We can either add an actual physical box around the side. Yeah, let's do that, it's easier. Okay then. Okay, the other option, the other option. No, I don't want to hit. <laughs> it works, no? It does work. Hit. <laughs> John Drawer. Though my art has not been the best recently, I can't draw robots, it's very difficult. We'll sure. stop rotation eventually, right? Yeah. Okay, how do you set the rotation? Constraints? Yes. Freeze position X, Y. No, just Y. No. Rotation. Yeah, there we go. Freeze ah, rotation. I thought as, rota as the Z is like, well, there's no 3D component, so why the Z? Great question. So the short version is that you can imagine rotation as attaching a stick to an image and giving it a twist left or right. As you can see, it's the Z stick that does what we want. So it turns out you need three dimensions for two dimensional rotations because game dev is easy. Yay. Should we do the camera? So it follows the player. Yeah. How complicated do you want it to get? Simple as possible, please. Okay, then you can just make the camera a child of the player in the hierarchy. Oh, whoa, cool. What was the other way of doing it? Do it in code. That's so boring. We're in game jam, we're efficiency. That looks quite cool though. I like, I like this. Unfortunately, this caused a huge issue that we had no idea how to solve, and we only have four hours remaining. It just like, do you see what happens? It like it skips down, yeah. Could you go again? Fixing this was really confusing. So we fixed it using the best method of fixing anything in a game jam, completely ignoring it. And then we moved on to level design instead. As the levels increasing difficulty, we can make the screen shape bigger and smaller. What is the screen shape? Well, it's the CPU socket, of course. The thing you have to make sure the CPU lands on perfectly. There is a surprisingly high number of ways to make this happen, though. If the exposition of the player is exactly the same as the exposition of this pad, then it must be like lined up in the middle, so it's fine. If its exposition is like over here, then it's not lined up. And then we also need to check if both ends of the square within the position of the green. Yes. We could do ray casting where it's like. Nope, that sounds scary. Hi, Dennis. Um, <laughs> you're right, mate. <laughs> Please make us win. <laughs> Okay, this is amazing. Cabbage created this entire first level while I worked on art, so I have no knowledge of it at all, making me the perfect playtester for difficulty and fun checking. We failed already. That, God, is that even possible? We'll release this level as the last one to see if anyone can do it. <gasps> oh, that's not possible. Oh, oh. Watch the sides, just to check. Yeah, you don't. The sides? Yeah. Okay, we got something we can submit now. 
Yeah. Yes. We could submit this now, but my enthusiastic co-host is right. We can make this a lot better before we submit it, with more levels, but more levels brings away that we have to transition between them somehow. Seeing transitions are literally my least favourite thing to work on in Unity, I hate it. But luckily we found a way to make this really simple, I, I really wish I knew this before. Jank way, but nice easy way, is that each scene is going to have a different version of the player. So if in the player itself, this scene, next scene, when we die, load this scene again, and when we win, load the next scene. How is it distinguishing? Now in the player of L1, set this scene to L1, and next scene ah, okay. to Impossible That's scene. so smart, all the fun. How is that easy? <laughs> so easy! If it turns white, then we're good. Yay, crap! What did it do? Oh, oh, yes, it hasn't been added to build settings. Yeah, loaded L1 and it's white. Oh, that's so cool. Why were you being such a bitch about it? Oh, this is so easy. Ready? Ready? Bonk. Bonk. Yay! I did it! What now? The CPU is literally heartbroken if you die. Oh, that's sad. You better not die then. Oh, that green thing. I should probably hit it. Um, so it's impossible to get out of this one. Win. Coding is fun, right? We're done? We can be done. Like, there's more we can do. Obviously. Yeah, but like... But we can be done. Yeah. So let's, let's be done. Nice and simple. Because I want to play some Red Dead before I go. <laughs> <laughs> While being an upstandingly polite gentleman, we thought about a way to inject some of the chaos and despair of this game for a more engaging and secret story in our Game Jam entry. Maybe we leave the impossible level with all the white stuff and it's like a glitch. In the yes, that's good. Definitely not because I'm lazy. So. Wait, wait, can you make it so that it is some RAM at the beginning but it kind of distorts? So it even goes like that or something. Oh. And it's all just like all different sides. And stuff. And, and the white's still there, so it gets more and more deteriorated as you go on. Yeah, do that. Okay, maybe it was slightly too in, but there is an actual really cool reason behind why we did this, which we can pick apart as we prepare ourselves for building, uploading, and submitting our game to the game jam. Okay, let me sign in. Because yeah. you're not stealing my credit. Oh my god. We need a cover image. You can just have John. Oh, that's good. Just that. That screams you, depression. Who wouldn't click on that? Run, John. <laughs> that's perfect as. And this is the same issue I had on Gaming Toolkit Jam, and someone sent in a fix. Pressure. Disable. How did it do it in seven seconds? It's just that good in it. The game's just too optimized. Clearly, my intention from the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, loaded. Oh no! He's white, John. <laughs> He's white, John. <laughs> that's what it's meant to look like. <laughs> um. Well, that's fun. Please, 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 John. Come on, John. Yes! yes! That's the right sort of size. Now we need the description and everything. Okay, I've sent it to my email. I've never submitted with not five seconds from the deadline of a game chat. Are we again? Wait, you do, you do, you do. Oh, we didn't do any music. Silence is a purposeful choice. Because it's the silence to show how empty he, he feels, alone with his depression. That's gonna write that. Yeah. Submit. You press it, I'm not, I'm not gonna take this movie. Is it First game jam, yes. Yay! Oh right, my God. let's see the rest of them. Oh, we can't. Uh, God damn it, that ruined the excitement. Yay, we did it. Happy coding, everyone.